Hi, it's Natalie here, and today I want to talk to you about change. Now, without a doubt, we are living in times of massive change. So no matter what it is, whether you're dealing with the uncertainty or fear of the unknown, consider that it's possible to just embrace it and to use it to maximize our self-growth. Okay, so here's how we can do that. First of all, acknowledge change gracefully. Now, it can be really easy to react and even overreact when it comes to change, because especially when you're caught off guard, like we all did with this virus, I mean, who could have ever predicted or seen this coming? Practicing mindfulness is a really great way to calmly wrap your head around the unexpected change. Now, this allows you to acknowledge your emotions in a really healthy way, instead of just brushing them under the rug or suppressing them and pushing them down. So take a deep breath and stay in the moment and understand that although it may be uncomfortable in this moment, this feeling will not last forever. Just tell yourself, it's okay. This is what's happening, but it's not the end or it's not the final answer for me. So learn with an open heart and learn with an open mind. You know, change can be difficult at the beginning, but try challenging yourself to be open to the newness. I mean, no matter what your age is, you can always learn something new. Now, we often get too comfortable with what's familiar, you know, bigging up our egos in a way that makes us seem like we've got everything under control. But the know-it-all mantra is a thing of the past because you'll only revert back to those old habits and get stuck in the monotony. It's time to get out of your own way and start unblocking and unlocking new possibilities and opportunities. So keep an open heart and keep an open mind. And this is one of the primary steps that you can take when you're navigating through change. The other thing that you want to do is accept new possibilities. So when things start to change or for good or for bad, understand that new possibilities are just around the corner. I mean, early on when we were building mind movies, we were so outside our comfort zone that we realized that there was no comfort zone. You know, we saw that change could actually make us stronger because we had to learn how to undo what had been hardwired in us for so long. I mean, we were 40 at the time and having to learn new skills and new ways of doing business and and being in a new country and everything was new. Now, if you accept unexpected change as a shot at new beginnings, then it becomes the perfect opportunity to start asking the universe for answers. So stay curious and don't be afraid to question what's happening around you to see how this new change can work in your favour. Then it becomes a matter of what you decide to do with these amazing new opportunities. Now the other thing you want to do is to stay in action. Change may feel like a big shock to the system and it may make you want to crawl into a hole and avoid dealing with all of your emotions. Now as you may know, Glenn is my partner in my movies and we were also married. Um, And although things didn't work out in our marriage, we are still the best of friends today. You see, once you have accepted that change is more about seeing the bigger picture, rather than dwelling on the short-term flare-ups, getting to the other side of fear is absolutely doable. But you've got to stay in action. Now, don't get me wrong, getting through a divorce was hard. You know, I cried, I grieved, and I, I went through all of the emotions. But I knew that I had to find that higher vibration. And I couldn't do that without staying in action. So I had to ask myself those hard-hitting questions. You know, what now? Like, who, who am I? Like, who do I want to be now? You know, what's in store for me for this next chapter in life? You know, what is it that I want? What is the outcome that I really want to focus on and make sure that I get to that both for myself and for Glenn? So maybe you're going through a change like this in your life. Or maybe your whole daily routine during the quarantine is just so far outside of your comfort zone that you're not quite sure what to do. But to consider change as that spark or that oomph that really helps you to get to that next step. Learn how to let go and use this new adrenaline to stay in action. So ask questions and reach out to friends and to loved ones and find a healthy ritual. You know, the thing is, a few weeks ago, we thought that being in quarantine and stuck in the house or being told to stay in the house was going to be the worst thing ever. Okay, now we're getting used to this whole new normal. So instead of dwelling on the worry or the fear of what's to come, 
Pay attention to what's working and what's not and make calculated decisions. Staying in action was putting one foot in front of the other for me and learning how to navigate a whole new way for myself. Now, another thing that's great for you to do is to give yourself praise for your growth. Now, to change is to grow. So this point is actually a really big deal. So no matter how much change in your life has come about, the sheer fact that you are working to deal with it is hugely courageous. So don't undervalue or undermine what you've done. Just embrace the change. You know, it takes quite a bit of courage to change the way that you normally handle certain situations. I mean, maybe you're familiar with saying, old habits die hard. Well, habits can be hard to break, and to change is to break a habit, and that actually matters. You know, taking on new habits, it does take courage and it does, does take dedication, but you will be amazed at the difference it makes in your life. So don't forget to give yourself credit at some point. Change can be scary, but it's not scary forever. I mean, change is how we grow and build resiliency. And no matter how monotonous life may seem, change is inevitable. But the key is to learn how to embrace change in a way that's not bogging you down with overwhelm of uncertainty. Now, change can be a tender topic because we all deal with it differently. However, it's something that I hold very close to my heart because it has ignited so much personal growth in both my personal and my business endeavours. So to be completely transparent, change was exactly the catalyst that I needed to be able to live the kind of life that I'd always imagined. And remember, if nothing changes, nothing changes. All right, now before I go, I would love to hear from you. Please comment below um, and share any tips that could really help our community transform any negative feelings as a catalyst for self-growth. And don't forget to subscribe to the My Movies YouTube channel for more videos on personal growth and the law of attraction. My name is Natalie Ledwell. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.